For today's demonstration, I would like to take the dais out to the test garden. And as usual, I always go for the deepest, smallest target I have, which is a small copper rivet, about the diameter of the end of a pencil eraser. And today I want to show the differences in the frequencies according to the response on a deep target like this. And we'll start out with the basic dais fast program. But we'll make a few modifications. First, I'm going to go to the iron, audi iron audio and drop it down to zero. Reactivity, I want to change that to two and change the silencer to zero. And my audio report, I want to bump it up to six, just, just so you can hear it better on the video. And I'm going to go ahead and use tracking on my ground ballot. There we go. Camera slipped a little bit. This is the 7 inch rivet, 7.7 .7 kilohertz. Now, the one thing I've got to change here to make the playing ground equal between the frequencies is change my TX power to 3. And the reason being, when I go to the 4 kilohertz, I cannot change it. It has to be set to 3. That's the default. So to, to make it fire between all the frequencies and everything else staying the same, I have to set every frequency is going to be to TX3. So here's my 7 inch rivet. Good audio. Now at this point, I'm going to start taking and dropping the sensitivity down a little bit. And you notice the machine quietens down pretty quick when you start dropping off on sensitivity. Still have a good report here of the 7 inch rivet, 7 inch copper rivet. So we're going to drop the sensitivity on down a little more. Sensitivity 70. Everything's staying the same at the 17.7 .7 kilohertz. Sensitivity 60. Still good audio. Now I might add, if you was using your headphones, you, this would sound louder. You'd have it more isolated in your ears. Let's go on down a little bit more. I like to go down to where I just about lose it. Sensitivity 55. Now I'm not getting a good report. Very choppy. Very intermittent. Sensitivity 53. That's at 17.6 kilohertz. So now I'm going to drop this down to 11.7. Leave everything else the same. I'm going to pump it a few times just to give the tracking time to catch up because I've changed sensitivity. Now my audio came back. Take just a moment and drop it down to 7.7. .7. Of course, I pump it a time or two. Just make sure the tracking's on. Still a pretty good report. I'm going to drop it on down to the 4.0 kilohertz. And the default on that is the TX 
is always three, you cannot change. But I've noticed something. Now this is for my ground, in my area, with the mineralization I have. At 4.0, at this particular site, is not the best. But I have found other sites where the 4.0 frequency was the quietest and the deepest by far. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bump back up on the frequency just to go back through it again. Frequency 11.7. Seven point seven and the seven point seven seems to be gives the best report of this particular target. Now look what happens when I go back to the seventeen point six. Now everyone knows that that's the best frequency for small items, especially gold. Just barely reports on. Just barely reports on. That's at seventeen point six. I'm going to go back down to 7.7. .7. Seems to be this is about the best for this particular site. And I'm going to show you what happens when I change one setting. I'm going to take the reactivity. I'm going to go to 3. But I'm going to, I'm going to make the silencer back to 0 like it was. I want you to see what happens. It's gone. Now, by example, we're going to take and I'm going to take it reactivity down to one. Bring that silencer back to zero. Now watch what happens. It's a better audio, but you definitely have to go slower. This is just a, a joyful machine to use. It's by far not perfect, but you have a lot of options to help you cope with a different type of hunting situations you might run into. Have a great day.